Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to talk about uh, five fragrances that um, handles bad weather pretty well and also uh, the women like them uh, in general. And as you see I'm sitting here by the sea. It's been really rainy the last couple of months so I couldn't go out and film basically. And I, I like to film outside most of the time. So uh, I'm really happy that it's good weather today and it's no wind so that's very beneficial, especially when you have a mic and stuff like that. So anyways, I have a little different fragrances here, but I'm going to, um, yeah, hopefully there's something for everyone. So the first one that handles bad weather pretty good, I've noticed it's YSL Tuxedo. And this is, uh, as the name suggests, a very dressed up tuxedo type fragrance that you should mostly wear in um, formal situations, I would say. Maybe you're going to a fancy dinner party, maybe you're going to an all-black tie event, a New Year's party or something that you want to dress up a little bit extra and uh, stick out in the crowd. And for me this is nuclear. Uh, the performance of this one is nuclear. For me, one spray in the neck and, and you're done. So this one will probably last me a lifetime if I'm going to be honest, if I'm going to keep it. Because it's a little bit hard to pull off as a daily driver. And you shouldn't have this fragrance as a daily driver. This is for specific occasions. But I've heard that a lot of women like it. But be aware that you don't overspray this fragrance because then it will become too much, too um, heavy, too in your face, you know. Because this one smells like old school French perfumery at its, at, at, at its best, basically. But it's a little bit dressed up, very potent fragrance. Probably a lot of perfume oil and stuff like that. Projects very good. I can wear this when it's super windy, super cold, it doesn't matter. People will smell me one spray in the back of the neck and then it's done. And uh, it's very easy to overspray this, so be careful. But this is a nuclear fragrance. Another one is, of course, I have to mention Dior Sauvage. I go with the Parfum version, boring fragrance, I know, but this is. I mean, if I don't wash, if I don't uh, take a shower, and I spray this midday, I can smell it the day after uh, 100%. And uh, still, girls like this more than a lot of popular fragrances that is more hyped up in the fragrance community. Unfortunately, that's the reality. And sometimes we're pretty closed off in the community and uh, we hype up fragrances that actually don't really work in the real world, only in our community. And this one is hated in the community, obviously, but if you or more in the real world than in the community and you want the high projecting fragrance that will last you a long time and will be appreciated by uh, girls especially they think it's masculine they think it's fresh and they love it savage this is perfum you can go with the auto toilette it's equally as good me personally i just think this is a little bit more refined so that's why i'm just gonna see here if the Ah. And next one, ladies and gentlemen, is a little bit in the same ballpark, I would say. But this one is a nuclear fragrance. This is uh, La Venture Intense from Al Haramein. I think it's a company from Ku Kuwait, Ku Kuwait, Kuwait. And this one is uh, very good. Uh, it's a Aventus clone if you don't recognize this fragrance. It's super, super highly projecting. Um, you can have this in every situation. It's a little bit more citrus heavy than uh, original Savage. It lacks a little bit of the fruitiness, in my opinion, but it's very good bang for the buck. And uh, this one is extreme. You have a big, big scent bubble on you when you wear this fragrance. And uh, the, the, the weird thing with this one, though, that I noticed this on me, on my skin, maybe on some, some of you guys as well. I don't smell it. I get pretty asnosmic to this scent in an instant. I can't really smell it on myself when I've sprayed this one. And it's really weird because I've sprayed five times and uh, I'm like, it doesn't smell so much. But then when I get around people, they like, oh, you smell really good, you smell a lot. Some people say so. It's easy to think that you under spray or this fragrance is weak. But it, it's not weak at all. It, it works a little bit like Molecular One. I don't know if there's a molecule in this one that makes it, you know, react to your chemistry in the same type of way that you don't feel it, but people around you feel it. 
So don't be fooled by this and think it's bad performing because it's not, it's nuclear. And you can have it in all different situations, a great fragrance. Next one. Young girls love it, ultra male. Um, I don't know if the batch variation is so important to talk about. This is a batch from, I think it's 2018, I don't know. Because I haven't used this a lot, but I know when I wear it, it's three sprays enough for me. And especially when I've been at parties and I've used this one, uh, girls love it, girls love it. Um, even though I'm a little bit older, it works when you are in a playful situation or in a playful mood. And of course, if you're a young guy and you want to have something that is very fun, out outgoing and uh, will get you noticed. Ultra male is still good, but you know, I don't party as much as I did when I was 20, 25. But anyways, this is also a nuclear fragrance, easy to like, especially younger girls. It's a little bit unisex though. So if you are a girl and watch this, you can probably wear this yourself, but you will also appreciate it on your boyfriend. All right, the next fragrance, or yeah, it looks like a body spray, but it's actually eau de toilette. And this is for you, all you classic Lema lovers. I know, that, I know that I've mentioned this before, and this is Bondage Homme uh, from Milton Lloyd. I guess it's a, um, I don't know if it's a, uh, it's a UK company, yeah. And this one is nuclear. It's, um, I would say, almost 10 times as potent as uh, as the original Le Mal. And this is a, it's a very, very good sprayer. Ah, very good and good. It's, it's it have a very wide mist, so uh, that's pretty good, I think. So you don't get a lot of uh, fragrances just in the same spot. You get it on, on a bigger area, so to speak. And this one, how does it smell? Who is this for? Obviously, it's for people who like Le Mal, but like me, thinks that the new formulations is not worth um, to buy because they uh, lack in performance. You can smell them after like 30 minutes, in my opinion. And this is a little bit more earthy. If you love the classic Le Mal from the uh, mid 90s, you know that that was a little bit more earthy. I think they, they banned some ingredients and that's why it smells a little bit different today. Some people say it's not been reformulated. Some people say it has, but either way, I think this is a no-brainer. Uh, just pick it up. It's like ten dollars. Um, you can find it on Amazon, and I just think it's a nice compliment if you want to uh, reminisce on old times um, and smell fragrances like Le Mal again. So that's uh, my fragrance. Uh, yeah, or that's my fragrances <laughs> for today. And uh, now I think I'm going to record some shorts, maybe some TikToks and stuff like, so, stuff like that. And if you're a Swedish guy or girl and you follow me on TikTok, you can watch them there. If you don't, uh, my name is, uh, my name is, or the, the username is Doft, Doftguiden on TikTok if you want to follow me there. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Peace out.